Hello viewers, I'm Advocate Kier, I was from Lexus and Company. Today I'm going to talk about the Criminal Code of Canada. Crime and criminal law, particularly in terms of the community, are defined and the differences between civil and criminal law and proceedings are explained. The Criminal Code 1869 is Canada's main source of substantial and procedural uh, criminal law. The code structure and offences classifications are outlined. Offences are divided into two main categories indictable offences and offences punishable by summary conviction. Now, and the procedural differences are discussed, indictable offences are serious acts such as murder, kidnapping and robbery. A review of the history of grand jury and petty jury functions in relations to indictable offences notes that for most indictable offences, the accused can elect one of the three trial procedures, trial by magistrate, trial by a judge without a jury or trial by a judge and a jury. Treason, sedation, piracy and murder must be tried before a judge and a jury. Preliminary hearings are usually required for indictable offences not tried before a magistrate. Defendant must be personally present at trial for indictable offences. Maximum person's terms including life are imposed and fines may be imposed in addition to or instead of imprisonment. Offences punishable by summary conviction such as common assault and public disturbance are not allowed. Jury trials or preliminary hearings defendants do not have to present at summary proceedings. Punishment is limited to a maximum dollar, 500 fine or imprisonment for a maximum of 6 months. A review of the grounds and procedures for appearing or appealing both classes of convictions notes that most appeals are based on question of law, question of fact, a question of mixed law and fact. A brief descriptive hierarchy of the main functions of judicial authority in Canada from justices of the peace through the Supreme Court is included. I hope you are pretty much clear with the concept of the Criminal Code of Canada. If not, so then do let me know in the comment section so that I can clear up all your doubts regarding the Criminal Code of Canada. I'll see you guys super soon in my next video with some other legal topic. Till then, take care of yourself guys.